guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we got a red truck here. My boy Jeff over here just picked himself up a new truck. First things first, first upgrade he's gonna do, he got himself one of these bad boys. You say it's, it's 165? Yeah. Oh, there we go, 165. I wonder why they switched it up. Well, we're gonna go ahead and install this thing. First things first, we gotta lift this truck up so we can get that fuel tank out. Once you got the tank out, you got to put your suction tube up in there. How to do that? Inch and three eighths hole saw. You got to find a spot somewhere on here. We're gonna put ours right there, but we got to take the old fuel pump, fuel pump out, so we can gain access in there. Make sure no debris falls in. So I couldn't get the old pump thing out, so I just stuck my arm down in there and I put an old spray can cap underneath this so it catches the debris. Drill the hole, vacuum the mess up, and now we got to measure the suction tube and get it in position here. All right, so this part here, two quarters from the bottom all it's supposed to be and she is uh, plenty of that she's touching we got to cut her off so we'll go ahead and just cut it off a little bit at a time make sure we don't go too much so it's pretty easy to cut you can do it with box blade yep Now, so that thing, it wants an eighth inch underneath there, but I figure, what if you got in a weird spot and your tank got pushed up and it just had that little bit of a gap, and then you got no fuel after that, so I put it, I put a little bit higher on mine. I put two little slit things in it, because you're not a dude that goes to E every time, so we'll do it like that. And yeah. So even if it does yeah, bottom up, it can still suck from the sides? I would, yeah, I'd say, I don't think it'll go that far, but I like seeing that. New subscribers, keep it going. Tip, 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 tip. And we'll notch a little V right here. Hey, no barking. Just so if he gets in a weird spot and something's pushing up against the fuel tank, we don't want the bottom of it touching 
this and starving this truck of fuel. So we'll, it's already gapped a little bit more than they recommend. They want eighth inch, but we're going a little bit more than that. And then putting these V's, I did this on my truck. As long as you don't run it down to bone dry, you're all right. So, bada bing. Come on. commitment right here oh come on all right we gotta start all right where'd the gun go anything up here everything looks in decent form squished a pine needle up there we'll be all right all right here we go now to do some real stuff to it uh, the feed tube that's a 17 millimeter take that off and then the next piece to replace that 19 millimeter Place that little joker. I'm gonna go in there. Probably the other one's on that side too. Uh, tighten down. Good to go. Alright, I got the back end of this hose hooked up to the pump. How's it look? Looking at the blue hose. Alright. Alright. He says it looks good, so we're gonna cut it right there. Oh. Hopefully we got enough extra blue line there. Alright, so these fittings that comes with one time use simple. Just push it in and it's in. There's no Clamps needed. It does all the sealing and everything. Put this one in. Next step we're going to do here is hook up the power. This one's simple because this is just going to supply the power. It's not going to actually turn it on. The ignition, key on ignition is going to turn it on. So it's a simple hook straight up to the battery. Done deal. Now you got two options. That side tightens the clamp and this is your options side here. That's the side you want to hook to. Get your wires plugged in here. Good thing. bing bada bing spliced into the wire for the factory hookup so you can it knows when to turn your pump on and then this goes to the pump 
And that's where we're gonna hang the pump right there. We'll do that next. Return hooked up coming over and I hope that's a return one it'll be all right there we go all right now with our excess of extra because we did it correctly this time I sure would have been nice if it went that way but All right, now I need to find seven eighths rent. Oh, okay, I think. All right, sounds like she's primed up a little bit. Waiting on old Jeff to tighten up some hose clamps here. Check these doodads for diesel. I don't see any diesel. All right, you ready? Ready. Been boy. Cab lights doing up there, it's a little weird something something. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Kind of hectic, but we got it done. And he's happy and headed on home. But had a few questions on this. Feel free to comment below. Let me know what you're running. He's running that truck. It is a 165 fast fuel pump on it. And uh, he was going for 150, but they only had 165s. Go figure. But anyway, comment any questions below. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. And if you are a new subscriber, I really appreciate it. It cheers me up seeing new subscribers. Anyway, thanks. Bye. Bye.